As we begin uh, the Holy Triduum of Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and uh, Holy Saturday, we are brought into, on Good Friday, the reading of the Passion, where on the cross, we will hear uh, Jesus cry out, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? And for many of us who hear it, it sounds like a cry of defeat, when actually it is a cry of victory. And when Jesus is on that cross and he says that, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? The Jewish people hearing that would know immediately he was referring to Psalm 22. And I'd like to share that with you. I'll share the beginning and the ending of it with you so you can hear and understand what the Jewish people were hearing. Psalm 22, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Why so far from my call for help, from my cries of anguish? My God, I call by day, but you do not answer. By night, but I have no relief. Yet you are enthroned as the Holy One. You are the glory of Israel. And you, our fathers, trusted. They trusted and rescued them. To you they cried out, and they escaped. In you they trusted and were not disappointed. But I am a worm, not a man, scorned by men, despised by the people. All who see me mock me. They curl their lips and jeer. They shake their heads at me. He relied on the Lord. Let him deliver him. If he loves him, let him rescue him. For you drew me forth from the womb, made me safe at my mother's breast. Upon you I was thrust from the womb. Since my mother bore me, you are my God. Do not stay far from me, for trouble is near, and there is no one to help. And here's where the victory comes. Then I will proclaim your name to my brethren. In the assembly I will praise you. You who fear the Lord give praise. All descendants of Jacob give honor. Show reverence all descendants of Israel. For he has not spurned or disdained the misery of this poor wretch. He did not turn away from me, but heard me when I cried out. I will offer praise in the great assembly. My vows I will fulfill before those who fear him. The poor will eat their fill. Those who seek the Lord will offer praise. And may your hearts enjoy life forever. So my friends, this Good Friday when Jesus is on the cross, it is not a defeat for humanity, but it is a victory. And Jesus, through his death on the cross, was victorious over sin and victorious over death. May God bless you and have a very blessed Holy Week.